Hello, my lover of wisdom. Welcome back to another live Q&A, group therapy, group coaching, whatever you want to call it. The idea is to transform from fear to freedom. And because it's a wonderful day and the weather is so fine here in Greece, I thought I'd start with doing three deep breaths here in the garden and then we can go inside and start our live where you can ask me any questions you like. So everyone, let's take a deep breath together. Inhale deeply, deeply, filling all your lungs with that wonderful oxygen. Exhaling through the mouth, release all stress and strain. Once again, deep inhalation. Relaxing your facial muscles and exhale. One more time. Deep inhalation. Relaxing the whole physical body and exhaling. So, welcome to another live session with me, my dear lover of wisdom. Wherever you may be tuning in from, from any part of the world, and through any of the chat rooms that I make this program available to. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Alkistis, and I'm here to help you process any issue or obstacle you may be facing at the time. And I do this with help of my method, the Algestis method, which is based both on Greek philosophy as well as neuro coaching. So we integrate the ancient and the modern to come up with the perfect solution for you. So it's a very practical uh, process. You are going to come up with a problem or challenge that right now is frustrating you. Okay, this is not a monologue, this is a process and you are going to be part of this process. We want you to process your issue, whatever that might be. So just go ahead and think about right now anything that is really, really frustrating you. Perhaps it has to do with your work. Perhaps it has to do with your personal life. Um, you know, Aristotle said that there are five basic fears in a human being. One of them is the fear of being left alone. One of them is uh, the fear of being poor and losing one's money. He also said that people are afraid of being sick and uh, helpless. Uh, another fear that a lot of people have is the fear of death, their own death. But mostly there's the fear of not having lived your life to the fullest. Does that sound familiar to you? Uh, do you ever get that sense of feeling like I'm just wasting my life? What is my life amounting to? That would be this kind of existential fear. So as, you're, as I'm speaking, I want you to really go into yourself and think about what it is that's really, really frustrating you. I don't mean generally in your life. I mean now, in this time, during this day, or during this week. Something very concrete. Um, you know, perhaps uh, as it has to do with envy and jealousy. 
it could have to do with resentment uh, against someone you know at work or in your family, someone who you feel has insulted you. Uh, I'm not sure what the topic might be, but I want you to recall it here and now. And the best thing you can do is actually write it down. Write down that specific sentence of the thing that's most bothering you. And if you like, please go ahead and write it in the comments if you are in a chat room or on a social media group, go ahead and write it in the comments. And you may want to start your sentence with, I'm really afraid. Because you'll tend to notice that a lot of the things that uh, you feel are bothering you or are frustrating you, it often goes down to a deeper fear. So I want you to start really working with yourself and locating that fear. I'm going to give you a few moments to work on that, uh, to write it down in the comments or on a book or magazine that you might have. Meanwhile, I'm just going to look at the comments a little to our friends who have tuned in. So hello Zinu, Anastasia, Danny, Sakis and Leah and George and Abdul and Ibrahim. Welcome Barbara. Welcome Janice. Welcome George again. So many people, many friends tuning in from all over the world to do this exercise together. As I'm talking and giving you some space, please really go ahead and do this exercise. Write down the thing that's really bothering you, that's frustrating you. And as I said, the real work with yourself is going down really to the root of the issue and seeing what is your fear. So uh, the sentence should really go, I'm afraid that. I'm afraid that. For some of you, it may be hard to admit it that you are afraid. Maybe you have a big ego and you're like, I'm not afraid. But there's something um, about anger. If you look at the root of anger or jealousy or resentment, you will see that it is usually coming down to a fear, a belief, what I call your BS, your belief system. Okay? You know, it's, we have a lot of false beliefs. And as Socrates said, we lie to ourselves a lot. So one of the uh, purposes of this exercise is to go down to the lie you're telling yourself. That's why I'm going to pass it through the three filters of the Alkistis method. For those of you who've been watching and you know the Alkistis method and you've downloaded the free summary from my website, the three filters you know are ethos, pathos and logos. Don't worry about it if you are not aware of it. I will explain everything to you. So just go down and go into that fear for a moment. When does that fear usually come up? When does that negative, toxic, um, just feeling come up? Try to imagine the scenario in which it came up last. It could have been today, earlier on, um, but it could have been, you know, last weekend uh, where something happened in your family or uh, in your personal life. So I want you to really recall the scenario, the last times 
or time or times, occasions, events, whatever you want to call them, where this came up. It's very important for you to go into that experience. Go into, you know, where were you seated or where were you standing at that moment when that fear came up? Who was with you in the room? Let's bring it to the present tense. Who is with you in the room, in the space? What is happening? As if you're revisiting that occasion. What is actually happening in this moment? What, are the, what is that person telling you? Or what are you looking at that's triggering this fear and this belief system? Just experience it for a moment. And if you like, write it down in the comments below. Again, feel free to write it down. It really helps to um, just describe the scenario that triggers off this fear. Okay, and where do you get that feeling? Is it in your head? Do you get a headache? Do you um, feel like a frog in your throat, like you want to scream or you want to cry? Or maybe it's here in the heart area and you just feel so closed and crunched and your whole body position is changed. Uh, maybe it's in your stomach, in your intestines. Just go into that fear for a moment. Okay, so now that you've kind of reenacted the scenario and you are there feeling upset, feeling stressed, I want you to look at that thought that you're having, that thought flow, the one or two s sentences. Um, look at it and pass it through the first filter of the Alkestis method, which is, is it true? Is it true? Be honest with yourself. This is the question related to your ethos. Remember, ethos has to do with truth and integrity. If you're being really honest with yourself, is this thought that you're having true? Like, is it 100% true? Or is there a little lying there, a little comfort lying, just to comfort yourself and say, you know, I'm right about everything. Be honest with yourself. Like, for example, would you say that you're generalizing? Perhaps it's a platitude, it's a, it's a, it's a generalization. And generalizations tend not to be really true. They're generalizations. Or perhaps you're dramatizing. Be honest with yourself and look, are you dramatizing? Right? Be completely honest with yourself. Between you and me right now, are you dramatizing? Or is your, is your ego, is your ego, your ego is not you. It's this person you, you know, expect others think of you. It's, um, it's, a, it's part of your exterior profile. It's not the real you. Check, is your ego the one that's hurt and not you really? Be honest with yourself. Just take a moment and see, are you being honest with yourself? Is that statement 100% true? And if there's some grain of truth to it, good. It's, it, you know, keep the, some of the information there. But let's reduce the absoluteness of that belief. It's not absolutely true. Some grain of truth to it, perhaps, and we'll come to that as we move along the filters. Now the second filter that we pass through in the Alkestis method is the, the filter of pathos. Pathos is the root of the word passion, the English word passion. The Greek word pathos relates to your emotional situation. And the key question here under pathos, the filter of pathos is, 
Is it kind? Are you being kind to yourself when you think like that? Are you being kind? Or is it kind of like a self-sabotage? Is it self-punishment? Uh, be honest with yourself. And now look again, how about is it kind for the other person involved? Are you being kind to the other people involved in this situation? Are you perhaps labeling them and fixating them? You're confusing their behavior with their pers person. Okay, some people do stupid things, it doesn't mean they're stupid. Some people do horrible things, but it doesn't mean they're horrible people. So, pathos is the filter that invites us to have empathy and compassion uh, for the others involved and for basically you, yourself. I mean, step into the shoes of the other person. This is the filter of pathos. Is it kind? You'll only know when you step into their shoes. Look at the picture from their view. Just go into that feeling and, you know, ask yourself, is this the person the kind of person you want to be, that level of unkindness? Who would you be in this situation if you could be your best self? In other words, who do you want to be in this scenario? Imagine for a moment the person you would like to be and ask how would they think? How would you think if you were free? How would you think if you were more confident, if you loved yourself more? How would you view this whole situation? What kind of thoughts would you have? Okay. So now let's look at the last filter, the filter of logos, logic and reason. The Greek word logos refers to logic, reasoning, our divine gift, if you like. What separates us from animals is our logic, our reason, our ability to strategize. Think for a moment, under this filter, logos, is the question, is it useful to have such a thought? How useful is it when you're having that thought, that belief system that you started with? Is it useful? Where is it going to get you if you keep thinking this thought several years down the line, if you continue having this bitter thought, this angry thought, this frustrating thought, this toxic thought? Is it going to improve your relationship? Is it going to improve your life? Probably not. Probably not. So go ahead and now comes the turnaround. This is the opportunity to be free. I want you to take that belief system and edit it. Edit it right here and now. Create a new belief or affirmation that you want to experience. So in other words, just go back and rewrite that belief system. And one of the ways you can help yourself is to make it in the present or present continuous. Like, I am growing, I am learning, I am expanding, I am earning, um, I am deserving. This is the present continuous. So I want you to create a new belief system uh, make it a more empowering statement so that it is more truthful, uh, more kind, and more useful. Ethos, pathos, logos. 
sometimes you can add in a, in a phrase, sometimes, okay? I sometimes need this, and that's okay. I accept it as it is. You see what I mean? You can just add the word sometimes. This may sometimes happen, and I'm okay with it. I can handle it. Okay, use this empowering language with yourself and you'll see how your life begins to turn around. So now that we've gone over the cognitive behavioral part of the, you know, putting things down, I want us just to take a moment to uh, go into uh, a short meditation where we meditate on your new statement meditating on that new statement. But before we do that, I'd like to ask you to write down in the comments below, in this chat box comment, if you're in the Zoom room, go ahead and write down your new belief system. The new belief. Write down the new edited version of your thought, the one that you came into this session. Okay, just go ahead and write it in the comments below, your new empowering belief about that issue. If you need any help in formulating that, you're welcome to book a one-to-one -one consultation with me and I can help you get to the root of that problem. But for now, do your best and write in the comments below, just type it in the new statement, the new belief that you want to believe in. Excellent. So now that we've reached that, let's take a moment and really be grateful, okay? Let's take a deep breath for a moment. Deep, deep breath. And let's just be grateful for this session together. Let's just go into the state of gratitude for sharing this experience together. I'm grateful that you have turned up on time. Um, you show your presence and that means you, you are taking your transformation from fear to freedom. You're taking it seriously. You're committed to improving yourself and improving the quality of your life. So let's just go ahead and put our hands on our heart, if you like, and just feel that and say, I'm deeply grateful. Just take a moment and let's just be grateful for this small step that you have made. And now the way to reinforce this new belief system that you have come up with, this new sentence, um, this new affirmation, the best way to reinforce it is to do one of my guided meditations. Okay, below you're going to find the link or you can go to my website and you will find a free mp3. They're guided meditations, deep relaxation sessions. And it's, it's just a beautiful, relaxing meditation where you have the ability, when you are in alpha or theta state, this is the most receptive state, you can go and do a session with one of these MP3s that I have specifically prepared for you. And in this guided meditation, it will ask you at a certain point, it will say, please repeat your deep affirmation. And this is where you would present this new statement. And the more you practice this guided meditation with your new belief system, because of something called neurogenesis, your brain will literally be rewired. That's right, it's going to be rewired so that this will be your new go-to thought. It will override the old program. It's like you're reinforcing it every time you do the guided meditation. The brain is absorbing this new belief system as part of your self. Okay? 
So yes, we can transform ourselves. Yes, it takes some work, but that's why I'm here for you regularly so that we can practice to overcome and really transform from fear to freedom. So my dear friends, I hope you enjoyed that Q&A, the webinar, group therapy. I hope you are enriching yourself through this experience. I hope you're using these tools and bringing the Alkistis method into your life. Now what I'd like to ask you is to support this channel, support my work as a patron. If you'd like to do that, head on over to patreon.com and you'll get lots of gifts, lots of special privileges for being a patron. Also, you can book a private appointment with me if you'd like to share about your particular problem, a particular challenge you have, and I can get on Skype or through Zoom and really handle that issue one-to-one. -one. Equally, you can share this video with your friends on social media and leave your comments below. I always love reading your comments. Lots of love from Greece.